Good evening, wonderful family. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you for always stopping by. In today's video, I want to share with us how you can use coconut to fight spiritual husband or spiritual spouse. But in case you're tuning in for the first time, you're highly welcome to this wonderful channel. Kindly hit the red subscribe button to make yourself a full member of this family. Like my videos, share my videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. May God Almighty continue to bless you in all you do. Now, so many people come to me about the spiritual spouse. The truth is, the easiest way to divorce this spiritual spouse or to separate from it completely is by water settlement. But the water settlement is expensive. So for those that don't have the finances, you know, to settle this permanently, I, I want to show us the natural remedies you can use to, you know, push them away for them to stop disturbing you so that you can make, they can allow you to get favor. We all know that when you're suffering from a spiritual spouse, uh, that spiritual husband or spiritual wife, you will hardly get favor. You won't, no matter how you struggle, no matter anything you do, you hardly make a headway. So people will tell me that they are not eating in their dream, so how come they have spiritual spouse? There are so many things that can, you know, there are so many signs that can make you know that you have spiritual spouse. But that is not why I'm here, because if I start explaining, this video may be too long. So I may make a separate video for that, to show us some signs that you have, that you know that you have spiritual spouse. I just want to go ahead and show us the recipe, the natural recipe you can use to, you know, settle it or deal with it for some time. So what you're going to do for me, you're going to get coconut, three pieces of coconut. Yes, three pieces of coconut. You are going to get this perfume. This perfume is very good for anything that has to do with my stuff. We used to do obanje work. People that have obanje, we use part of this perfume to, you know, and when we are doing the obanje work. So it's very good for anything that has to do with water, obanje, and all that. That is not why I'm here. Then another thing you are going to get for me is our fertility leave, ogurishi leave, fertility leave. Okay, so you can Google it to know what it's called in your own dialect. Then another thing you are going to need is red bucket. That is the main one. You must use a red bucket. So how you are going to do it, when you get a red bucket, fill it up with water. Then break your coconut or open it from the eyes. Open it from one of the eyes. This is the eyes of the coconut. The one that you can open is this one. Extract the three uh, coconut water inside that bucket of water. Okay, just extract the water and put inside that bucket of water, that bucket of that red bucket containing water. You are going to add enough quantity of this uh, 77 perfume. 77 perfume, you are going to add enough quantity of it. Then you are going to get your gurishi, wash it inside that bucket of water. Do I see if you're washing your vegetable as you're squeezing it? So that the ogrisho water, okay, will come out. It will be green after washing it. The water will be green. So now what you're going to do, you're going to take this water in uh, outside, outside your house. You kind of putting it under the sky in the night. So this recipe, you're going to do it in the night. You're going to keep it outside the uh, outside your house as if you want to make a dew water. We all know how to make our dew water. Then you're going to use this water to take your bath first thing in the morning. Don't wear slippers. Don't use soap. Don't use sponge. But before you take your bath with this uh, water, you're going to rinse some 140 three times. Some 140 three times inside that bucket of red, uh, that bucket of water containing your coconut water, your 77, and your grishi. You're going to rinse some 140 three times. So one four zero three times inside a bucket of water. They use it to bath without talk before talking to anybody. Do not wear slippers. If you live in a compound that you can bathe outside, you can go ahead and do it. But if you don't live in a place you can bathe outside, that's early morning. Take it inside your house. Stay even if your uh, your bathroom is tight. Remove your slippers. Take your bath before you say anything to anybody. By the grace of God, you will not experience that spiritual spouse it will give you way to start making it will give you way to start making head or um, you know to start getting favor because this spiritual spouse can block ways for you 
Sometimes you may think somebody is responsible, maybe your uncle or your auntie in the village is responsible for your predicament. No, this spiritual spouse can go as far as making a woman to be barren, can go as far as making a man to be sterile. It can go as far as making your children to not be normal. When you have children, they will not be normal. It can go as far as causing diseases to you. It can go as far as divorcing you and your wife or your husband. And the, the, when you have that uh, no problem of divorce, there's nothing on earth that anybody will preach that both of you will listen. And the thing that will cause this divorce is just a little thing that even small children cannot, it cannot even cause fight between them. So if you imagine what is making two adults to divorce just because a little, of a little thing, sometimes your husband will start cheating with anything on skirts. Because the, your own spiritual husband is driving him away from you. You'll be imagining what he's seeing in other girls that you don't have. It's not your fault. If you are the woman that have it, your husband will not, will not be appealing to you. You will see yourself messing up with your security man or your gate man or your cleaner. People will be wondering if this woman is normal. Or you see yourself, each time your husband enters the house, you start nagging unnecessarily. Even the men, they will nag on. If a little slightest mistake you make, the man will nag. I will beat you up. It's not your fault. That is what spiritual spouse can cause. It can bring complete poverty. There are some people that when they marry, it's always, it's always very difficult for you to marry. But if you escape and marry, the thing will frustrate you unless you settle it. And when you marry, the thing will come and block your financial doors. So you think that your, you know, your wife or your husband is a winch, that you are doing well, immediately you got married. Everything ceased. Some people will go as far as lying to you that you married from a witchcraft family. Your wife is a witch. That is why you, she blocked your ways. They are all lies. People have to lie to get money. Okay? They are all lies. So these are things that spiritual spouse can cause. Spiritual spouse can make everybody in your neighborhood to hate you. Yes, they can. it can make anybody in your neighborhood to hate you. Even yeah, you are married to or your immediate younger ones. You have rich uncles, rich aunties, rich siblings, but none of them will want to help you. Because that's there is a blockage that is covering your favor, that is make, covering you from people liking you. That is how what spiritual a husband or wife does to people. People that are supposed to favor you will turn around and hate you. Even people you help will even turn around tomorrow to kill you. This is what spiritual spouse and cause so do not take it for granted whenever you're told you have it if you don't have if you have money to settle it go ahead and settle it you'll be fine you'll be free but if you don't have money if you're doing this natural remedies it will help for some time at least until you get money to do the big work and by the grace of god if you carry out this one i just teach us now you will be free by the grace of god you will see changes in your life okay so for those that ask me how long can they do this recipe you can do it once in two months or once you start noticing that it's coming back again. You do it again to subdue it. Do it regularly and come back for your testimony. I've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.